Well, tonight we have a warning to drivers in the Waterbury area. Someone there is throwing rocks. Look at that damage to cars out there, both in Waterbury and in Wolcott. News 8's LaSalle Blank spoke to a man whose windshield was smashed. Look what happened to Devin Oriole's windshield as he was driving down East Main Street in Waterbury Thursday night. All of a sudden, he just heard bang and it just smashed. There was just glass everywhere. Someone has been throwing rocks at drivers in Waterbury. It happened right here, right over here. These are the rocks that hit Devin's car. These things are not light, they're pretty heavy. And despite the damage, he considers himself to be extremely lucky. That's because the rock smashed through the passenger side of the glass. If that, if that rock came through the driver's side and hit me in the head, I would have I would have been knocked unconscious and I would have crashed the car. Devin isn't the only victim. He says several of his neighbor's cars have been hit recently while they were parked. His mother's car was hit too. It's taken an emotional toll. Shock, outrage, disappointment. It's also taking a financial toll. It cost Devin 200 bucks to get his windshield replaced. He wants to know who's doing this and endangering lives with rocks on the roads. We took his concerns to police. No one was available to talk on camera today at the Waterbury PD, so we went to Wolcott, where police there are also investigating several cases of rocks being thrown at cars, including four new cases this month. While we were there today, the police chief was working on two arrest warrants involving other cases in May. I believe we have identified the parties that were involved in that. Now, these four recent ones, we're going to also try to connect them in to see if it's the same parties driving around town. He couldn't give me names just yet, but he did say they're males in their late teens. He also said Wolcott and Waterbury police are working together. If they catch whoever's doing this, they could face charges ranging from criminal mischief, which is a misdemeanor, to more serious charges like reckless endangerment if someone gets hurt. It is very serious. It's not just a prank. LaSalle Blanks, News 8.